Hi, it's Steven for StevenFung.net YouTube channel, and I've been in Taipei for about a day and a half now. I've got four things to share with you, starting with number one. Now, one of the things you're going to want to do is try to pick up a SIM card, and the absolutely easiest way to do that is at the airport, provided that your flight gets in at a normal hour. My flight landed at 5 a.m. in the morning, and the store didn't even open until 10 a.m. But if you can get a SIM card at the airport, do so. All of the carriers are actually right beside each other, and you have your pick up a litter. What I had to do was I actually had to buy mine on the street and the nice folks at the uh, Amba Hotel was able to direct me to the Zhonghua Telecom store that was just around the corner. I could pick up two different packages. One that had a one to 10 day expiry date, which basically you just buy it once and it expires after that. You don't keep the phone number. And the second one, which would be a kind of a prepaid or pay as you go, which most people would use. Now the prepaid plan actually comes with 1.2 gigabytes of data, which is good for 30 days. $200 NT dollars of minutes, which is about 20 minutes of calling if you're calling around to uh, landlines and other um, carriers. It also comes with 2000 NT dollars of calling within the network. So that means that if everyone that you know uh, was using a Zhonghua Telecom uh, mobile SIM, then you basically have about 200 plus minutes of calling time. It was very inexpensive. It was about $300 for that package. And that's actually what I got. The other thing that's really great about Zhonghua is that they are the largest carrier in the country with the largest 4G network. So if you want the best possible uh, performance and speeds for your Instagram photos, you're gonna wanna go with Zhonghua Telecom. And if you come back within six months, you can also refill it again at um, 7-Eleven or any of the other uh, uh, you know, like convenience stores, which are basically on every single corner. Number two, one of the things that uh, has always been a pet peeve of mine is the bacon situation. Like what's up with the soggy bacon in Taiwan? Has anyone told the chefs that you're not supposed to create bacon that's soggy? It's supposed to be crispy. Why haven't you guys gotten it right yet? You get so many other things right. Has anyone actually told you guys that it's wrong? Number three, I love having a bidet in my room. The one in my room, which is built into the toilet seat, the two different settings actually actually have, have a, a pulsation mode and also a different strength mode. There's actually a narrow beam and a wide beam for the water to spray your butthole. The seat is warm for you and there's also a uh, setting which gives you a nice blast of air to dry off that area. Now you're probably wondering if something like this actually works better than toilet paper. I can tell you straight up that this would save a ton of toilet paper. It actually works better than toilet paper. I can't believe that I've actually not considered something like this and I may have to install one in my home very soon. Number four. Okay, let's talk about getting cash. Bring the US dollars with you head to the um, the cash counter inside the airport and get cash to empty dollars. That's the probably the best, quickest, and most convenient way. Now, I forgot to do that. What I had to do was I actually had to find a bank machine that would actually take my card, which used the plus system to get money out of them. I went to two or three different banks in Taiwan and none of them would actually allow me to withdraw money. It kept giving me various error codes. What I finally discovered though, is that inside the 7-Eleven, most of these uh, convenience stores, there is a bank machine. You're gonna have to pay a hundred NT dollars, which is about two or three dollars to get your money out. In fact, I've tried it at Family Mart. I've also tried it at 7-Eleven and I was able to grab money, no problem. And those are my four things about Taiwan so far during my trip. I hope I have more things to share with you. I'm Steven with stevenfung.net YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you again.